Good evening. This is Mario Kart. We got new maps and uh, we're going to be playing some new maps. I have a bunch of people here. I have uh, some of my mods who you will see if they uh, type something, um, if everyone uses tilt controls. So we got Red Jackal, Bass. We've got Johnny. We've got Dave Cap, Gearmatic. Great Zot will be joining later. Wrinkly Newt, who's not a mod, but let me tell you, this dude's famous. I'm telling you. And uh, we also have Liam Triforce, who's joining. So, hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hey. Yo. So. Hello. Hello. Yeah, so we're going to do the Mario Kart. And hopefully these maps aren't too bad. And for those that don't know who Liam Triforce is, we did a, what, like a, how long did that conversation end up being, Liam? I cut it down. The original recording was three hours. I cut it to two and a half. That's a lot of conversation. So, yeah. yeah, so check out Liam's channel for some good videos and some good discussion about no Le <laughs> Liam, Liam Gallagher. Gallagher yeah. <laughs> Click the car in the top right corner of this video to watch Liam's channel. Ah, there you go, Johnny. Reminder, Liam Gallagher. Self reminder to put that. It's just Liam Gallagher getting into fights with random celebrities. <laughs> that's that's all his channel is. That and him saying, come on, you know, in increasingly agitated tones. <laughs> come on, you know. Come on, you know. Okay, press L or R and you can select. Uh, so I think yeah. any map is fine. As long as it's dealt. That's a lot of a new one. Yeah. <laughs> That they're adding a lot. I guess it's worth the money. Oh, we'll see. It's seven yeah. remasters we'll see, yeah. and one new one. What's the oh, new one? Oh, that's true. Uh, the ninja, whatever. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know what it's called. I heard that one had the best graphics. Also, Probably. I'm going to win. No. Probably. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, Probably. I'm... Listen, I did a Mario Kart tournament, Some somewhat of a pro. You know, I didn't even unlock the bitty buggy, but. I'm just saying, we lost that tournament. I heard you weren't even trying, dude. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. I was playing with my feet. I should have warmed up. This map is kind of confusing. Uh, you'll you'll see why. Oh. Okay. Press A, by the way. That's the gas button. Yeah. No, I didn't. Thanks. <laughs> Glad you told go. me that shit. I would have just sat there for a bit. Why cart not go on its own? Yeah. <laughs> Pressing forward. Well, like I said, I am using tilt -tick. And I already fell off. Oh, okay. you're dead. That's fun. Oops. Oh, God. This is like a very square map. I don't like it. This There's a, a lot of right map. angles. It's got oh, wood. Why, why is Donkey Kong dabbing? What? What do you mean? He dabbed when I did the jump. Oh, he's your character. I thought he was just on the yeah. map dabbing. <laughs> <laughs> Also, here's a little bit of trivia. Apparently, this music is from WarioWare. Oh, yeah. Or like a, a version of it, you know, so it's like a little remix. It's actually a WarioWare course. What do you mean, though? What? Like Look around for some hints. No, it's some garlic shapes. Oh, okay, yes. Okay. Oh, I see them now. Thank you for pointing that out. That's beautiful. So that said. Oh, I see the garlic, but but here's the thing though. So it's not actually from a WarioWare game and like a mini game, right? It's like it's a new thing inspired right, it's, by it's WarioWare. Themed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Batteries making it all up. Can you do a wheelie in this game? I'm using a bike. I'm using a GameCube controller, so I. I Can you do a wheelie? Uh, if you use a if you use a yeah. mushroom, I, mean, I think you do. Only if you go uh, really fast. So that's different. In the, uh, <laughs> God damn it, game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I fell onto another section of course, and it brought me back to the top. Why? It was course There's down a... there. I got you, Dave. Oh, shit. Yeah, this Never this mind. is definitely a confusing map, but I, it looks nice. I like the look of it. I, I, I do have a soft spot for this aesthetic. I know it. Oh, God. I oh, yeah. Slow down. I feel like we're playing Sekiro. Yeah, I was about to say, I was just replaying that game. It's so much fun. Just before or after Elden Ring came out? After. Did you like beat Elden Ring? After. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't, I can't do that. 
Uh, Can't let you do I that, Star Fox. I miss Star Fox. Yeah, I was talking about Star Fox the other day. How great it would be. To so just, like, I can... I could see a great Star Fox game with the right team. This hasn't happened. Congrats, dude. Oh, I've had practice. Oh my god. Like third. I'll take fourth. There's like two entirely different courses on this map. Yeah. Yeah. There's more like three. <laughs> yeah, there's like an upper mid and a bottom. There's a really crazy shortcut that you can take, but if you don't take it right, it slows you way down. I like it, you but can, uh, I'm very bad at it. If you want to see some craziness small. at some point, uh, go and watch the uh, Staff Ghost for that. If you own the DLC, you can watch the Staff Ghost for that track, and it's crazy. Oh, man. Oh, that's uh, nostalgic. I used to race those guys all the time in Mario Kart Wii. Also, like uh, Jackal, just so you know, when you pick random, it also picks the non-DLC courses. Uh, yeah, I don't know what... <laughs> yeah, <it's funny>. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Of course, right, it's a surprise appearance from Wario's Gold Mine. <laughs> I, I like Wario's Gold Mine, so I'm okay with this. Isn't this called Wario's Salt Mine? Uh, for mm -hmm. me, it is. <clears throat> oh, those were the days. The Wii U. I was just so. I was just explaining to uh, Mike on his. We were playing Mario Kart Shit. the other day, and I was explaining <laughs> to him how I vomited while playing Mario Kart as a kid, the Super Nintendo one. Oh. And I, I would like to tell the story again if, for those that haven't heard it. Is that, is that okay? I would be delighted. I refuse. I heard it like two or three times. I'm good. I, I want to hear it. I've right. never heard this. All right. So I'm gonna not do it because Dave heard it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll, I'll tell you the story very quickly. I was young, playing with my cousin who was older than me, so he had like better, like hand-eye coordination. He had. Uh, a brain that was more developed, and I was probably about eight or nine at oldest. And so he kept winning. And you know, this is weeks of him winning and continuing to win and winning some more. And so eventually I just get frustrated because we in Mario Kart Super Nintendo, you really only had battle mode and you couldn't really cooperate. You just had to like win. So I was very frustrated, so I, I hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like punched him in the in this like shoulder, and he was getting upset. He was getting pissed. Fair enough. I was a little brat, bitch baby. And then, um, I guess I was yelling, and I was like, "It's not fair!" You know, like I was, Bleh! I was like just screaming like an asshole. Like and then my parents sense. heard this, and he was like, "Yeah, he punched me." And then they were oh, like, geez. they were like, "All right, well, we're taking the Super Nintendo away." And so they took the Super Nintendo away, and I got so angry, I was like, You, you can't do that! And I puked on the carpet. Because <laughs> they said they were taken away for like a week, and I was just so... Or something like that. It was like a couple days or a week, and I was just so angry I puked. So, that's my story. I'm sure, I'm sure that they didn't make things any better. I don't remember if I ever got my Super Nintendo back. Like, how did I even play Chrono Trigger? But no, they were pissed, and he was pissed, and I think he left. He was just like, yeah, this is too weird, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. Uh, yeah. It, it's, a, a, it's a lot better imagery than what I thought. I thought you were literally <laughs> just playing, like... <laughs> Motion sickness. Just play, you know, like, like, Mode 7 fucked up your eyes and shit, and you got, like, something in your inner ear, and then you just vomit on the SNES controller. You had to, like, get vomit out of the, the keypads and all that. Thank God Maybe. it wasn't that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you wouldn't have it for, for weeks because it has vomit all over it. <laughs> Even though the color of the Super Nintendo eventually turns to a light shade of vomit. Light shade of vomit, yeah. I had, um, I had a very difficult experience with that game. By the time Mario Kart 64 came out, I was a lot better. So I was older, and I, was, I didn't puke anymore after that. That was it. No more puking. So, Ever? Yeah. Never? Um, no, I can drink four liters of Captain Morgan rum, and I am fine, yeah. Totally fine. I puked, like, last night. You believe this? <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah. what is ass juice? 
Oh, you saw Joel's video, huh? Perhaps. Okay. Um, it's a bar that I've been to called the Double Down Saloon in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And and it's a it's a punk bar, but it's kind of like fake. Meaning it's a dive bar on purpose. So it's you know, it's like a tourist dive bar. So you go there and they play porn on TV and just weird metal and like just craziness. Jeez. And um and they have a drink called Ash Juice, which is four dollars a shot or two for nine. <laughs> And it's cheap. It's only four bucks, right? So it's cheap, and uh, it's got a funny name, but it's just like fruity, pineapple-y, and not a whole lot of alcohol. It's a it's a gimmick. But when I told Joel, hey man, we're gonna go get some ash juice, he was like, oh, wh what is wrong with you? I said, you'll see. <laughs> and it piqued his interest, so we went. You'll see what's wrong with us. Yeah. <laughs> we only oh, so stayed there. For, we only stayed there for like an hour, but it was nice. We got to hear some punk music. We got to, uh, watch some porn with the rest of the bar. Like, everyone that was there was just looking up at the TV. <laughs> and it was like a super also. cut of various weird porn mixed with, like, you know, metal and just, like, strange exploitation videos from, like, the 60s. It- it's fucking weird. But then the ass juice, we just kept getting it. We got, like, a bunch of rounds. It was delicious. And then threw up. Hey, question, because it's been a while since I've played this. Last time I played this was with, like, Small Cousins. Yeah. And I think I have Edge Guard on. How do I turn that off? Okay, if you hit pause, you'll see, uh, there's, like, three options. L, R, and I forget what the other one is, but one of those is on, you want to turn it off. By default, the game turns it on, so okay. that's why you need to turn it off. I like how I've gotten 90 fucking mushrooms. And you're in, like, what, 7th? Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah, I have the same issue. So. <laughs> Finally, Davey's not first. That was a tight race, jeez. I, you know what? That's a very simple map, but I, I, and it doesn't look amazing. Like, it looks okay. It's basic. It's cartoony. Um, but it was fun. It didn't have any right angles, thank God. I was perplexed by the decision to add Mario Kart Tour maps to this. Seems weird. They're just like straight lines. Yeah, and it's just real life. It's like, that's, yeah. It's like, does that fit? I don't know. Do it in match. But people are saying that um, the Mario Kart Tour maps are their favorites. I've heard a lot of people say that so far. That one was Tokyo, right? So there's another one. That, yeah, that one was the to Tokyo one. Looks like Zong Paris getting ready. Paris is the other one, and Paris oh, is... Yeah, if it's through friends, I don't, I don't want to have someone have to back out to friends oh, if no. that's the case. Oh, no. Zot, there's... No, you, you have to go through friends. There's up to 12 people. Oh, well, you, you can join whenever. Yeah. Just join yeah, I did. a friend. Oh, but I, I guess none of you all my friends. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm, not saying, I'm not saying no, but looking through here... It's kind of quiet in the friends. Oh, All thing. right, I'll final be your friend. Race. We're on the final Sorry. race, yeah. So we'll, I'll, I'll make your you, you. Listen, I'm only your friend when we play mini golf, not anything else. Sorry. Uh, understood. Got it. Uh, but no, we'll we'll get oh. you in here in a minute. I just realized you said, oh, if you you have to press A to go forward, there actually is an auto acceleration option. Yep. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. That's Babby mode. Yes, super babby mode. Elden Ring has a babby mode where it dodges for you automatically. All you have to do is um, return the Work. game, you fucking poser. <laughs> automatically. Put the that, that's the. Level. Yeah. Sorry. Now I'm becoming I'm becoming the toxic Dark Souls community that turned me off to that game. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. There was something you brought up too, because uh, what, what was it for Elden Ring? People were bringing up that, like uh, uh, the meta. It's always the meta shit, but um, how like people who only do strength builds are shitting on anyone else who doesn't do strength. When I recall playing Dark Souls 3, it was like the faith build that was like the meta. So it just, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's different every time. Jackal, oh, I just right. addressed that today in my playthrough of Elden Ring about, oh, about the no. different builds. No, 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 like, but strength, I was like, 
you know, I see people kind of shitting on people that use a little bit of magic and stuff, but I said, but is, what if you pump all of your points into one stat? Isn't that also making the game a little bit easier? I think it just depends mm, on the player. That's, it, the problem is, is you, for this game, you need, like, a variant of, you can't just go, like, one stat for a certain weapon. I don't know, unless you go caveman mode. I, sure. I really, like, use caveman strats on certain bosses, like, just using the charge attack and then running away. You know, you, you can do chicken shit strats and still kind oh, yeah, of win. Yeah. So. I've done plenty, and, and truthfully, <laughs> my current build, I'm using a sword that I know people are going to shit on me for using. Which it's one? The Good. crazy overpowered it's one? The, the it's the about? one you get from the end of the Rani quest line. The Moon Veil? Is it not Moon oh, Veil? Oh, it's, oh. oh it's yeah. a, that's the Moonlight Greatsword or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love oh, that weapon so much. Yeah. I respect oh, I, uh, to use it properly. It's fun. They call it the Crush Sword, but still, I I mean, it's fun. I, I love it. The Rivers of Blood. Steel, steel Fifth? Listen, man. I'm not a stat elitist, but I don't use magic in Elden Ring. Why use mini magic when sharp ouchy to trick? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> My build is 55 <laughs> dex and then like 50 health. Exactly. You don't need anything else. Well, I. I just so arrows. You I know, like a little bit of magic legit. for variety, but I also I like to point the the pointy end of the stick at the at the bosses. It's fun, but um, a, I use like four or five different weapons. I rotate them out, and I have a lot more fun that way. Um, you know the big sword you got, Vinny, in the last recording, the huge one that looked like Cloud Strife's yeah yeah uh, monster sword. Uh -huh. uh, I'm pretty sure that was intended to be a reference to Berserk, because I, I found out about this recently. It's a manga and an anime from 97 i think really so uh, yeah it all the games are based uh, heavily off of berserk yeah that's true too yeah <laughs> like berserk there's the influences so. are deep wait so yeah. i need uh -huh. to stop playing elden ring is what you're saying because there's <laughs> anime influence <laughs> <It's> anime <laughs> japanese wait, 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 wait. Game are you saying that reference? cloud <laughs> strife from final fantasy 7 also <laughs> is an anime otaku <laughs> Actually, oh. Berserk with the whole that whole trope with the big <laughs> giant ass sword trope, everything a lot of that like influenced uh many yeah. things after it, yeah, so. definitely. Like, it's Cloud's big sword is definitely a drew influence from that. It's just any big like anime looking guy, but, with big sword. but what <laughs> what does the big finger sword come from? The big <laughs> finger, the one that's really just a big finger. You know oh, what I'm talking about uh, that's just Miyazaki ship posting in a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I think he might have drawn inspiration from the messages on the ground that say "try finger butthole." <laughs> how do you get? <laughs> how do you get <laughs> Fia's underwear? I want that. I saw that was an item in the game. <laughs> My what? God! Is what? Is, yeah, there is. It is a real item. <laughs> you can't get it, but it is in fact a real item Does that it you can. Have, like any bonus? Like what? what it's. I think it has like 0.6 <laughs> weight. So it's, it's it, good it, for lightweight builds. Yeah, and it's just your legs. It's just the legs of your character. Yeah. From what I remember reading, you get it. You were supposed to get it since you cannot get it usually in the game by killing of Fia. Set. It's a drop from her, I think. He yeah, drops on her set. Also, Zot, you can. Uh, I added you. So. Yep. yep. I'm on. I'm cool. in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I'm just gonna be the back of the pack and enjoying the show. We just ended that uh, tournament or whatever you could call it. Yeah, yeah but Vinny won, but Dave was a close second. I he just stole yep. my crown. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would it he be though if in this like every day, if if in this lobby you could just start like throwing punches? Yeah. It's like in between just waiting for matches, other. you could just like juke each other and like fucking yeah. mash me a game. Then good. Do you remember Bomberman 64 where your Bomberman, you could like grab another Bomberman, you could juke them and you could like, like, r like rattle them? No? Well, I don't think I've ever played Bomberman 64. That's a game I've only played one time and have weird nostalgia for, and it's probably not that good. Maybe when we set up the, uh, at some point, if we ever do the multiplayer WarioWare, we should also set up the Bomberman. Yeah, and you know like, what? Try the same online shit. I'm down, and I totally forgot about doing WarioWare, but that sounds yeah. like a good segment. I'm down for that. So, Zot, press L or R 
and you you will um, uh, see ah. the so you, we can't do random because that'll choose from the regular. Um, yeah. Which after we're done playing all these, I don't mind doing a regular, maybe yeah, even okay. two regular. Uh, so the, these this, are the ahead. silver portraits are the yeah. new 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 stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I like how it tells me every time that somebody else bought the pass, so I have access to it. Every yeah, time. they gotta try to. Are you grateful? Tell it. Tell it. I'm waiting for my three dollars, dude. Thanks, Square Enix. I mean Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I listen. I I'm more than happy to shit on Nintendo, but Square Enix lately has been dipping into the bottom Oof. of the toilet. Did you see the Echoes of Mana game that they're doing, which is a free to play? Oh. Um, gotcha. I'm assuming gotcha. Action RPG for oh, your phone. No. So we're not getting a new mana game. We're getting a new mana travesty. Ugh. Square. Money, they do money, the same money, thing money, with money. Chrono Cross. Like having Don't you her... know how funny it is to swipe your credit card? <laughs> God, I love it. Hey, hey kids. Hey, you know, it is very satisfying. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they did that with Chrono Cross as, like, a a character in another game that apparently is actually pretty decent. It is a mobile game, but it's a full-ass RPG. I haven't played it, so I can't speak to its quality, but... Yeah. I want to say this map looks amazing. Uh, After seeing this for the first time since the Wii. Yeah, it looks, no, it looks all right. There are no Mii's, though, so it's bad. Why aren't the cars moving? The cars are... Yeah, what happened with the 2D cars? They just went side to side. It just feels a little lifeless compared to the Wii version. It looks nice, though. It looks okay. I, I, maybe the map will grow on me, but I'll, we'll see. I'm just happy to be in Coconut Mall again, because yeah, that's also... Even though the Wii version, I was a little older, I still think that that was a fantastic Mario Kart game. It was, like, for years, one of my favorite. I think Double Dash is still my favorite, though. Double Dash is uh, still a game that I think they could mine for another... Like, if they did Mario Kart 9, they could do the Double Dash mechanic again, and I would not complain. Yeah. So, for those who didn't play uh, Double Dash, like me, would you mind explaining ah. what is different about Double Dash? Um, yeah. okay, so, you, uh, have two people in a car. It's hard to explain when I'm gonna hit by every item in the game. Uh, <laughs> but, um... <laughs> So, yeah, you have two people in a car, two items, which is, which is what Deluxe lifted from Double Dash, is that you can have two items per person on the car, and when you switch, you can use the item that the back character uses uh, first. So it, there's strategy to it as well. That and just the drifting felt really, like... I don't think it's weird to, get, to build up drift, you have to be, like, back and forth. It was, uh, it really was cool. It was a different feel. And also, every character had their own unique item. Yeah, that too. Like, so, Yoshi would have the eggs that walk on. Yeah, uh, Mario Bowser would Bowser have the Jr. fire flower. Yeah, so that, Bowser and Bowser Jr. had the big spiny, like, Koopa shell. Um, I forget what the other ones are. Right off the top of my head. But they're all added to the item pool. So, like, if you choose a, two characters that have different specials, you know, you, you get an extra two. You get those specific two items added to your pool. It's a really well-implemented yeah. system. And even some of the items that sucked were still fun to use. Mm -hmm. And like giant, like squirting a giant egg. I don't know why I said that like that, but <laughs> you you can use the giant egg to to you know you feel powerful. Is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's kind of cool. It's uh yeah, it was a great game. The chain chomp was the one I was thinking of. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. Got. They, they, it basically you unleash the chain chomp and it just drags you through people and you just get to stop driving for a bit. It's like the bullet bill, but more fun. Because it's yeah. just fun to look at. Yeah, and you have... I, did you have more control over it than bullet bill, or...? I I don't remember having control, but I, I don't think I ever tried. Oh. I think you had less control than bullet bill, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> From my memory, anyway. Yeah, I don't remember. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of nostalgia for Double Dash, and also some of the co courses that people really like in this game our double uh, dash courses updated like baby park <laughs> mm -hmm. that's where you settle arguments that's yes yep that's the pro from the, the pros who lapsed <laughs> mm. i wasn't funny it's never funny <laughs> I don't know why it's I no it's never funny <laughs>
it's like the family guy of jokes because like they just keep doing the joke until it's funny eventually but i keep doing the joke and it's still not funny <laughs> Like that time I prolapsed. Oh my god, Lois, try finger bit hell. How did that hit you? Could you imagine the shit show? Because it got the side of me. In the next season of if Family they... Guy, Peter's gonna play Elden Ring. Cut away. Like it was like the time I lost too. four weeks to Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Touch Grace. <laughs> Touch Grace. <laughs> Johnny, what were you gonna say? No, no, imagine the shit show if they actually made a joke. Like, people will not shut up about it for like two weeks. Yeah. I know. Imagine if they, if they made a single joke, right? <laughs> At all. <laughs> Just in general. If they made a joke. Isn't that really, like, surprisingly good Among Us edit of Fort or, uh, Family Guy? I remember that. I haven't seen that. I, mean, oh, it's, I have. It's it's surface level, but oddly it's, well edited. I think the fact that it's surface level feels more authentic because it's like it feels like it was written by the writers of Family Guy. What? By McFarlane himself. By yeah. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't even work on his own show anymore? He he's yeah. I don't know what the hell he's doing, trying to make his Orville get into another season, which would be nice, no. truthfully. Actually, he wanted. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but this is the final season of Orville. Um, there's a new. Unless... Wait, wait, wait. There's yeah, a new there's one a coming new one. out. Yeah, I think it it's going to be in May. Um, they've been working on it since before the pandemic. Uh, oh. The pandemic's the reason Fuck why it the end, took dude. so long to come out. But um, no, uh, Seth's like done with the show. Like he did everything he wanted to do, and he wants to just be done with it so he's like putting all that he has into this final season and then it's done but uh i think there's still a possibility that somebody else like if it does really well the network being fox slash hulu because it's gonna be on hulu yeah it's gonna be on hulu um, it seemed it, july or june it says yeah june. if it does well they might just run it without him um like everything else that he works on so that Me meaning it, it, he like, would be an actor but not the writer uh, meaning they might kill him off and he just won't be on the show anymore. Oh god, they should just, they should cast... Which like, three voices. If he had well, a totally it, different show. No, this is the, uh, the live-action show he does. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought... Live-action family guy. Live-action. Yeah. <laughs> it's Star oh, no. Trek. It's just a Star Trek show that he made. Yeah. Yeah, Orville. I missed the transition over. <laughs> From Family Guy. Yeah, he does plenty of the voices in Family Guy. He just he just goes in, collects a paycheck, does me, and then leaves. <laughs> you know what? No, yeah. I would too. That's a pretty good I gig. I would too. He actually talked about this a while ago. He said that he wanted Those Family Guy to end around season seven, and it just hasn't. I mean, the network is like, Seth, we're going to give you $3 million. Yeah. Or more. Just, just listen, I we'll write the show. One more season. It's One also more, kind of buddy. like they're gonna take it away and do whatever they want with it without him. So it's probably better if he has some level of input to it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean that worked out great for uh, Lana Wachowski. Didn't yeah, yeah. Pro tip, yeah. It didn't. That's a good point. That's a good point. But it depends on the on the creator. Like I again, I can people love that movie or hate it. I've not found a whole lot of in between, but. Right. You get to a point with like Family Guy where it's like, what's well, Family Guy? It's not sacred. <laughs> it's just a yeah. bunch of like cutaway jokes and like funny voices and it's you know the quality has gone down. But look at The Simpsons. You know, The Simpsons is a show that it, there's a great video about it, like called how The Simpsons is a zombie version of its former self. Mm. I think uh, there was a video by Super Eye Patch Wolf. If you've ever heard of him, that talked I have. about that. I love that video. It's so fantastic. I, I believe I've Just watched he, that. And there is reason. The way he breaks the, down like the comedy of Simpsons now versus Simpsons in the '90s is just fascinating. And how they used to make fun of the celebrities that came on. Now it's like, hello, I'm Paul McCartney, and then they yeah. just—that's it. It's just, look at me, I'm here. Give me my paycheck. I'll take that. On the night. Also, I wanted to. Um, very briefly mention for anyone who hasn't who's watching this that hasn't heard any of my uh, thoughts on Mario Kart oh. DLC. I actually 
would have preferred a new Mario Kart entirely. Yep. Yeah. I agree. Anyone else? Yeah. Oh, I totally what agree. Maybe, yeah. formula, what, what new thing can they possibly do? Like, I mean, um, to make it new. What would you want? Interdimensional track. Uh, oh. Time track? No. I actually did it. Holy crap. I don't know. I guess just the just a new feel it. of a new engine and with new characters and also uh I don't know I, that's the thing you're right though that's like yeah. saying smash ultimate you know what are we going to do next it's like shit I don't even know Yeah Melee this game needs is rose gold baby king uh donkey kong <laughs> What were you going to say baby king koopa <laughs> Or no, you were going to say Ooh, Baby King what? Kong. Yeah, I was. Now, now that's copyright. <laughs> play it off. That's copyright. What about Mario Kart F-Zero? <laughs> like, what about having a thing that's more like F-Zero, maybe? Hang on a minute, Jackal. Have you not seen the F-Zero track in this game? Uh, you know what? I haven't. I'm choosing it. Yes. Oh, man. That's what this actually, is the closest we'll get to. We need to spin the F stick F and spin our carts, too. And smack people out of the ring. Yeah, they Maybe could do a, a nice combination where they can take the mechanics of F Zero and combine them with Mario Kart more. I'd be, I'd be up for that. I just, I guess, I just want a new F Zero game. Yeah, we all <laughs> do. It will never happen. Criterion uh, almost got one at the door, or not at the door, but like through to Nintendo, and they just, I guess, they were preoccupied with the Need for Speed Most Wanted remake or something. So they just couldn't do it. Oh, wait a minute. So they they pitched it to Nintendo, and Nintendo was like keen on it. No, sorry, I got the details wrong. Nintendo pitched it to Criterion, and they wanted to do it, but um, oh. uh, they were busy with Need for Speed. Gotcha. And also, people at work at Criterion have also said that that's just BS. So oh, so who know knows then? Really yeah, but that's like the only news of F Zero that we've received in many years. Well. We got a new Monkey Ball game recently, mm -hmm. and F Zero GX used the Monkey Ball engine. Yeah, that's the closest we've been to in a new F Zero game. <laughs> is, <laughs> is is a new Monkey Ball game? Even though uh, Banana Mania is in Unity, and you pointed out that they didn't even pay for the full license for Unity. Yeah, it's just it has the Made in Unity logo. I didn't even notice that. I really should have clocked that in my mind. I thought that was on every Unity game, but it totally isn't. <laughs> That's why I had the worst opinion of Unity for so long. I just, you know, I didn't know any better. I was dumb, but it turns out that all the the trolly, like, hey, Vinny, I'm going to make you a game in 20 minutes about all your favorite memes, were all made using the free version of Unity. Who would have thought? Mm -hmm. Uh... Jesus. I just three mushrooms. Vinny three mushrooms they call me. Vinny three shrooms. I have um or an Elden Ring suit of mushroom armor now that I'm wearing. It's fucking garbage. Oh yeah. It, it looks like Actually, shit gonna... and its stats are shit, but I can't help but using it. Enjoy those three uh Three bananas. Ugh, Dave won. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> so who who's the planner for for shutting down all these streets in the Mario world for these races? You know, Toad. The city, the city planners. It's always Toad. It's every, everything's Toad. Toad. Just with a clipboard. Yeah. Are we tied, basically. He figures it out. This or it's Mario from Mario Maker with the construction hat. Mm. Mm. But a separate Mario? If he's yeah, no, there's a lot of Marios. Cause you you how many Marios are in this game alone that you can play as? There's Mario, there's pink gold Mario, there's red gold Mario, there's blue gold Mario, there's rose there's tinted Mario. Mario. Do we want to? Yeah, let's play again. Fuck it. I want to know where like two hundred CC. No. Where, where oh, did the rose? All the maps. I'm just gonna ask, why rose gold? I found that out actually. There was a uh, someone on staff, so they asked um, 
I might be getting some details of the story wrong, but here's what I remember. Is they were like, well, we need to make another character, you know, like another female character. So let's make maybe a, an alternate skin. And I think they were going to just do Gold Peach. But then some of the female staff members, they asked, like, what do you think? And they're like, how about, I don't know, Pink Gold or like, you know, Rose Gold. I don't think I'm making that up. I, <laughs> I think that's real. Cool. Yeah, I think I could just that. use any other female character. There's Rosalina. Yeah, is Pauline not, not in this uh, game? Pauline, Pauline. Pauline, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of Pauline, yeah. Let me see. It's Rose Gold Peach. Put Samus in there, why not? Pink Gold Peach. This, this game skin. this game breaks the 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 product barrier, though, right? Like, it has Link in it. I'm right? thinking Isabel. Yeah, yeah. Isabel. This is so as I'm, close to Nintendo Samus, cards. I mean, I don't know. I, uh, I was playing as uh, Samus. <laughs> I hear that's actually a contentious issue within Nintendo. I'm pretty sure there are some executives that would like it to happen, and others that are like, that would be weird. It's already too weird for them that Link and Isabella are in this game. Bruh. Yeah. Well, <sighs> uh, there's already a game of... They yeah, beat the right? shit out of each other. You're totally <laughs> what right. Was the of the, how how more weird would it be to having them making having fun car races? They could. Just a Keanu Reeves, and I I don't know. Keanu Reeves. Wait, why did you why would you mention Keanu? What's what did he do? I said I said Keanu. Oh, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Keanu. We can we can have Keanu bring them together. You know, if he just we went to the office and he was shit. like, "Hey, Chum, listen, you should make Nintendo well, where the cart." Where did you come from? <laughs> I took the shortcut. <laughs> you can drive through the center of that part if you have a mushroom. Oh, oh, dude. oh my God! The shell showed up just as I drove by, Newt. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just went from fourth to ninth. This map. <laughs> I like this map so far. This one's fun. Oh, that that actually eats you. That's yeah. So oh, look, this, it's my homeland, France. This, this one in Tokyo Drift. Oh yeah, the, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this and Tokyo Drift are both the tour tracks, and both of them change as you go through lap to lap. Uh, I don't think they totally do. I, that's why. Oh, now we have to oh. go this way. Yeah. And then yeah, there's a part where oh. you can actually drive into oh. oncoming traffic. Which is what you want to do after you lose Mario Kart, anyway, I guess. Yeah, Bad joke. Bad Although joke. they will, like, in the, in Mario Kart 8, if you stop for too long or drive the wrong way, they disconnect you. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> Shoo, fireballs. Whoa. <laughs> this is one of the higher quality ones, though, for sure. I, I can safely say that I enjoy this map quite a bit, even if I'm, like, not great at it. Oh, Dave, you just got blown the fuck out! <laughs> I, I got second from that. Yeah, I'm, I'm Luigi. Really bad at this. Oh, apparently. thanks. <laughs> You're so far ahead of us. Yeah, if somebody already crossed the finish line, the blue shell will change who it targets. It'll just yep. go for whoever is in the lead but hasn't finished, and that was me. And then I eked out your the, the place in front of you by, like, a micron. That's Mario Kart. So, in regards to the Nintendo Kart, I think that would be cool. I think Mario Kart having, like, cameos is cool. But, if they wanted to do a Nintendo Kart and have, like, F-Zero racers versus Mario Kart racers versus, like, Samus and her ship, like, a completely different franchise. Like, if they wanted to keep Mario Kart pure, I'm fine with that. But I also think, like, I don't know, mix it up. Like, if you don't know what to do with the series, you have other racing stuff that you could utilize. So, that and also, wish, um, yeah. I was about to say, I wish there was, uh, they'd take a page from, uh, there's a racing game called Mod Nation Racers that came out on, like, PS3 that had, like, the drifting and a bunch of, like, mini games related to drifting and you can customize your own carts and stuff like that. I haven't seen a lot of race, like, car racing games do that. Mod Nation. Oh my god, the last time I heard that game's name, it was 
a poster at a 7-Eleven. I haven't thought about it since. <sighs> Holy shit. I don't know why that even stuck with me. It was a really good racing game. Um, oh. On par with Mario Kart in terms of, at least from what I played of it. Did Sorry, you, Mace. It's been a hot minute. Have any, anybody played uh, Little Big Planet Karting? Mm -mm. I have not. Never mind then. I haven't played <laughs> it either. Playing I was just wondering. Jack X Racing on the PS2. I haven't played that. My... I know it's good. I've only played really, other than this, like the other main kart racing game. I've, I've heard of all these, but like Crash Team Racing, the remake and the original. That was uh, that is, yeah. that's a great racing that's, game. That's my probably my favorite kart racer. But here's the thing, like uh. Mario Kart DS had like single player stuff and there was like a big Goomba that you had to kill and there were bosses. They were like challenges. You could do a lot of weird stuff with Mario Kart and make it work, I think. In DS? I don't In DS that. or 7? Which one? DS. Really? Yeah, it had like single player challenges and then bosses that you'd actually have to like use items to destroy. Yeah, I don't it, it was cool. That at all. I still have that. I mean, just Somewhere. think back to like Diddy Kong Racing and everything that that did. That's when why, man. When was yeah. the last time you played something like that? Yeah. I would love another Diddy Kong Racing or something similar to that gameplay style. I just got severely nice to... fucked over. <laughs> oh, it'd be nice to have something where you can make your own tracks too, because that's another thing I remember about Mod Nation Racers is like downloading player tracks. You could do so much with the track editor in that game. Yeah, that's why I was yeah. curious about Little Big Planet karting, because it was like the same philosophy as Little Big Planet, but you drive. Mm. Oh, three people, a, in second people have done in <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, right? Yeah, yeah. What would have been y'all's first racing game ever played? RC Pro and NASCAR Thunder 2012. RC uh, Pro th for NES? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm pretty or sure mine was either. Monster Truck Madness for DOS or Rock and Roll Racing? What was that NES? That's the sequel, uh, Rock and Roll Racing, I think, to RC Pro Am. Oh, is it really? Or same, same, it was rare, right? No, uh, Rock and Roll Racing is done by Blizzard. Oh, my bad, sorry. Um, my bad. Uh, what were you going to say, Johnny? Right? What was that NES, like, racing game where you control a red car and the view was like from top oh from like eagle I'm... view micro oh, machines man. micro machines maybe no oh, no sorry. it was in the nes and oh it, it wasn't it, it was like a la, la, the 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 track it was just a straight line and you just had to dodge stuff outrun uh, 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 was it no no it was from the from the top down the view hmm. like eagle view Kirby I remember airline. there being one when uh, you had to like travel the different states. What game was that? That was Cruise on the in NES. USA. Oh, no, was it, <laughs> never mind. Was it? No, not that one. Mm, um. Cruise in USA. Okay. It's been ages since I played that. Yeah, there was one that just came We're out on the Switch first... too. Hmm. Really? We're talking yeah. first like driving game or first cart game? Yeah. yeah I'm just oh. racing in general. I'm just racing in general, yeah. I guess my favorite racing game wouldn't even be CTR. It'd probably be like Burnout Revenge. Oh, man. The Burnout, Burnout. series I, I enjoyed quite a bit, yeah. Yum. Love that game. That game, and like, I think Burnout 3 was the one I played the most of, but they all had a little something going for them. They were just fun. Like, you didn't even have to race. Yeah. You could just spend time crashing cars and enjoying the physics, and that was good enough. I played an unhealthy amount of Pod Racer. Me too, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, same. That game was like sense of speed to the extreme. Yeah, Bub Scabulba was good in that. Remember the rumor of the Star Fox racing game? There's supposed to be a retro game. Their their hidden project was Star Fox, but it's a racing game. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. It, the, the, it was a whole mystery. It was what the hell was Retro working on for years? It's still and a mystery. Nothing. 
And now Prime 4 just gets handed to them. So then you're, we're working on this now. Whatever else they were making must have been real bad. Yeah. Oh, come on. Ooh, I got robbed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. I got robbed. Johnny. I'm so sorry, Newt. I swear I keep getting mushrooms. I don't know why this keeps happening. I get nothing but mushrooms. Yep. <laughs> uh, There's um a, a weird system in this game in regards to items where you it's not about what place you're in, it's about how far you are from first. Also go uh, F0. So either big yeah, I'm blue. Sure we've done all the DLCs. Which oh, I, which I Mute City. Oh, uh, Mute City's I good. Was go I was gonna pick uh the F zero track, but I misclicked. <laughs> pick the next one to it. Where's Mute City? Which which one is that in? Uh, oh here it right. is. Yoshi Egg. Man, it would if we don't get Mute City. Watch now <laughs> yeah. my, Play the my track get selected. <laughs> Okay. Hold my breath for oh, a second man. there. <laughs> <laughs> I just got gotcha. So I just got one guide. I guess ultimately, though, when it comes to Nintendo and and racing, you have your choice between super fast and item crazy. And this attempts to do both a little bit. Like it's like, oh, it's F Zero in Mario Kart, but yeah, it's not as much as I like this. Like, oh, cool, it's a good track, it looks nice. I would love a new F-Zero game that's just pure speed and just pure, like, risk versus reward when it comes to the, uh, you know, the boosts. Like, we've had so yeah. much kart racing. We've had so much Mario Kart. I, I miss the futuristic racing games like Wipeout. I miss, like, oh, yeah. Extreme G. Um, well, so this is when somebody's gonna... Hear this on the, the recording. Play wipeout, say, oh, please, booty. There's a new wipeout. You don't play? Uh, what? They're gonna say distance. Distance? Yeah. You, we've shown it. Oh. I know that right, some people play recommend distance? it too, but distance, right. yeah, that's like uh, an indie racer. So yeah. Oh, okay. Except it's more. I forget if they added. They must have added multiplayer. I'm sure they did. Um, so that's like, if you want pure racing, that kind of feels like. Uh, F zero X. Okay. Or I guess GX. Yeah, it's more like more X than GX. There's also um, fast RMX on the Switch, which is basically an F zero clone. Right. That was good. Right. That was like uh, one of the two games that I played on the Switch's launch. <laughs> yeah, same. Breath of the Wild Impact. But the thing ah, I, hell, man. The ah. thing I really, really want is to return to F zero X. And like the pipes, the half pipes, the tubes, yeah. all the really weird tracks. Because nobody does that shit. The, where like gravity is like really messed up. Yeah, I want, have, I want fucked up gravity. Yeah. And you have like you know full tubes to go around or inside of, and and it's not just this flat or even curved track that you're on. But uh, the the thing I loved most about G, uh, F Zero X was when you're racing on oh. the outside of a tube. You could like go around an elbow run and just yeah. fly off the entire course. Yep. And you could ram people off if you were good enough and not yeah. ram yeah. yourself off. That's actually another thing is like using ramming maneuvers instead of items is actually just pretty fun. It is. Oh, and it's okay. also because it's more rare to like, if you're a good racer, you win as opposed to like lightning in 10th place. Oh! Was it ninth place actually? Oh. No. Every time I play this level, I get sad that there's no F Zero in my life. Well, that's Thank also you, from Shy Guy. That's also why I like Extreme G. Extreme G had items, yeah. it had weapons. They weren't necessarily like OP weapons, but they were cool and they helped. And it was like otherwise just F Zero plus a couple weapons. I really enjoyed that series. Yeah, I remember being so excited for the GameCube one to release and then it was so so bad yeah i heard it was questionable yeah it wasn't it, great it was um i i had like a laundry list of problems with that game when it came out so it was bad it was just a bad game mm. so i've been thinking about that first racing game question and i finally remembered mm. lego racers 2 wow the ps2 what year okay uh, that would have been the PS2 era, so that would have been like 2000, 
Oh, yeah. Two or three? It's, it's within like a four or five, uh, five or six year period, yeah. Because if your car got broken in that game, you just had to run the rest of the race. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> So the, the best strat was just load your I'm gonna car go up random. with a giant monstrosity. Oh, big blue, yeah. Big blue is good. Rainbow Road. Oh, this Rainbow Road has caused me nothing but grief in this game. But yeah. Um, I RC Pro-Am being my first that game i was never able to get past like the f like track five because you had mm. to like upgrade your car and the racing i i didn't really like it was jank and it was it primitive nes racing but i never completed it i was intimately familiar with those five tracks or whatever it was but holy shit, what an awful first racing game that was and again, Rare made it. It's not like... It's not like they did a bad job with it, it was just so fucking hard. Damn. What was the sequel to that? Because there was... When Johnny said Rock and Roll Racing, I thought that was it, but they made another Pro-Am game, didn't they? I think it was just RC Pro-Am 2. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That explains it. And there then was, they, like, the Rock and Roll Racing remaster, right? Did they remaster that? Yeah. Or, well, I think there was an an illegally made one, and then a legally made one. I can't remember exactly how that all worked out. But they also, had, I mean, they had music in it, right? They, they had, like, MIDI or, like, whatever, like, actual rock song melodies in it, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they did. You, you'll get VOD muted if you play rock and roll racing, no matter which version. So it was just MIDI versions that they had. I'm assuming they didn't ask permission from, like, Elvis to get his songs in there. <laughs> At the no, time, I, they were like, why would we need to? I think Blizzard... For sure, there's Black Sabbath on it. Yeah, it had Black Sabbath. Like, licensed Fair Sabbath? <laughs> I, that I want, I want to know about. I'm going to look that up at some point. What else the Rock Band days where you could just play whatever? I miss the rock band days where you could just have Kurt Cobain sing Bon Jovi, and everyone would get pissed about it. Is that a thing? I, yeah, I don't know. I'm just kidding, but it's real. Yeah, Rock Band 3, there was a controversy where <laughs> you, uh, you could play as Kurt Cobain, and uh, because you that can use any character and any song, you could have Kurt Cobain sing, Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. <laughs> Even oh, Bon Jovi was oh. like, this is bad. Stop. Yeah. Oof. Just the, when you said the words, you can play as Kurt Cobain, I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, we, we played as him in um, Sven Co-op, and of course it turned into everyone wielding shotguns, and, you know. <laughs> <sighs> Sometimes, you know, we have to laugh. We to do. It, it's, um, yeah. It's obvious, but also, it's it's like... You gotta laugh about the, the heartbreaking things in life sometimes. Oh, come on. I just snatched third. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh my goodness. Photo finish. For in fifth place. Does but, Putt Putt count as a car game? We're <laughs> 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 going for racing games to just car games. Okay, um, <laughs> my favorite car games Transformers, Battle for Cybertron. My favorite car game. And Putt Putt's Great Adventure. <laughs> That, that's a classic. Mario 64 is my favorite racing game. Koopa the Quick. That was my... Uh, yeah. Any game's a racing game if you want to speedrun it. That's true. You're right. True enough. Then in that case, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker is my favorite racing game. <laughs> yeah, there is game? a racing segment. The the boat. Yep. Sploosh. Sploosh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that uh, a bunch of speedrunners broke down that minigame so that they knew how it worked and they knew every possible location of the boat so that they could s speed it up and let make it less RNG based. In the uh, that video was insane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy. 
I really I think wish that speed other runners are close as more. close to wizards as we have. Sorry, base, continue. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? I was just saying I wish that you could actually hear uh, like the horn whenever you would press it, like the the other people in the game. Oh, I, yeah, that yeah, would just be yeah. horn horn spam, horn spam. The, the horn that would be great. I kind of feel like having the horn in this game, and I've I've been told I'm wrong, but uh, is pointless because the horn is for other people. It's not for you. So, yep. so if other people can't hear it, what's the point of the horn? To make uh, you feel better. Yeah, you have fun. <laughs> you like fun? Are you talking about the uh, push the air button horn? Hear sound effect. No, the, the air horn can stop a blue shell. Horn. Yeah, yeah. If you press the item button or the drift button. Um, Whenever you're like just standing still, or you don't have an item, uh, you like do a little horn. You have like a little horn that you can uh, you can sound off. Yeah. Also, Some of this them game is missing. Shit. What? Is um party games oh. like party modes where you can make your own like item pools and whatnot. That would yeah, be fun. Like, yeah, I mean more customization. Air horn. Jackal mentioned uh, level creation. I'm always down for level creation. I think having like a yeah. even a simple like um, didn't Excite Bike 64 have a good level editor, or am I thinking of different game? Excite Bike has it. Yeah, and 60, 64. the 64 version, I'm pretty sure had it had one. It was simple but effective. And then F Zero X on the 64 DD that we didn't get here had a, a track editor that was surprisingly awesome. Like, I did it on a Sunday stream one time. I was like, holy fuck, we missed out on so much in the U.S. Yeah. I would have it's gone bonk. I was waiting for the 64DD specifically for that track editor, and then it never hit, and I was forever sad. I know I can do it now. I still have to try that. The, uh, emulated version. Yeah. It's good. I mean, it's worth checking out, but... Again, Excite Bike, Excite Bike 64 was an awesome game. It had a ton of different modes. There was like a cool randomly generated desert. And it, this is like on the N64. Having a randomly generated like infinite game mode was kind of novel for the time. Um, had a track editor, had all kinds of cool shit that you could do. It had like bad frame rates, of course, but the game was fun. Did you ever play Excite Truck? No. Yes. It's a Wii game, right? Yeah, it was uh, motion control only. It was actually fun. Yeah. It had a really good sense of speed, and it was like pretty stylish, too. It was just, sadly, a low-resolution early Wii game that forced motion controls. I'd say if, there was a, if you knew how to like set up an emulator to... Uh, play a game with uh, emulated motion controls so you could just use a joystick instead that would actually be a really fun game to play i just i just made myself laugh at a stupid joke but I, we're talking about like hey have you ever played this game i'm thinking of a situation like where someone asked you hey have you ever played like extremely obscure never heard of this type of game like someone like bring it up in like a in a dialogue or anything like that because i was just thinking <laughs> you ever played Lemmings Paintball? You, you ever played? You ever played that? <laughs> or have you ever? Have you ever played? Um, I oh, played Nerf Paintball. You ever played play gotcha. I Divine Cybermancy? Mm. It's a really good game. <laughs> I'd never heard of that game. Nice. Zot. I Divine Cybermancy or Lemmings Paintball. Because <laughs> no, I've played both. <laughs> no, I've never heard of both. One of those you should. <laughs> lemmings paintball is literally XCOM with lemmings. That actually sounds <laughs> kind of fun. I don't know. I like the sound of that. Wow, I'd never heard of that. There was a Lemmings PS1 game that was like 3D Lemmings, if I'm not mistaken, and, and they tried to do the formula, but in 3D, and it didn't work out so great. It's like that awkward period of adjustment where every franchise was trying to do 3D and. Some just were like, mm, go back to 2D. I have never heard of the Lemming series. What? You what? never know about Lemming? Really? Lemming. Listen. Maybe I'm just like. Do you know what a real Lemming is? About it right? Yes, I know what a real Lemming is. Lemming Koopa from Mario World? <laughs> That's a different guy entirely. Lemming Koopa. 
is the the one that does whatever you say without any without any qualms. He obeys orders perfectly. It's, it's uh, Newt. It's a game where you give orders to lemmings and they die. Okay. <laughs> And you can you can end the game by nuking them, and yep. that is not a joke. But like you solve puzzles, and uh, you have to like kind of go to the next area by like having your lemon lemmings build or dig or fucking die. But it was actually a really good series. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. It's I had some banging MIDI uh, tunes to it as well. It's really good. Oh yeah. Is there some, um new game that came out actually a demo of uh, something that's similar to lemmings but with a hamster and you have to like kind of use elements in the stage to keep the cans hamster from killing himself oh Even, my like, god his time and stuff it's reverse a lot on stream but it's really distressed good. hamster the game yeah i've known about the lemming series for a long time but i've never ever oh my god played any of the games but i've never i've heard <gasps> the music <so> <laughs> Oh, I saw it on the map. Like frame perfect, uh, superstar. <sighs> Damn. Um, no, Lemmings was cool. The most obscure game. I, I'm sure I've listed off plenty, but like I, you mentioned paintball. So there's a game called Gotcha that I had on the NES. It was a light gun game. And, uh, mm. I think AVGN covered it at some point. I forget. It's all blurring together, but. The thing about this game is, it was terrible at a time when I didn't know that games could be bad. <laughs> so I just played it because it was one of my games that I had, and I... I was like, why Why doesn't the, the shots register? And it turns what out... Was the turning, what was the turning point in your life where you knew, where you were able to filter bad versus good? Probably After he threw up on the Super Nintendo. <laughs> In the Super <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> I'm going to say Blockbuster Video opened my eyes. Because the cover alone mm. wasn't enough to guarantee a good game. Mm. I don't know what game I, it was a, specifically, though. I had a console as childhood for, for the most part, so I, I had no way of determining good, bad versus cover because it's like DOS games and in an emulation later on. So I, I guess I, I kind of avoided like tacitly bad games or bad purchases just by default. So I didn't know about bad games until like admittedly way too late. Yeah. Uh, I think my first experience with a bad game was um, was Advent Rising. Remember that? No. For the Xbox? Oh God. Yeah. That, is, that, that game is a whole ordeal. It was a. Uh, it was like written by a sci-fi author. I think the guy who owns, runs Epic, like Donald Mustard, worked on it. Something like that. Anyway, the I I wanted to get the game because they were doing a contest where if you played the game or whatever, that you'd get like a million bucks. Like that was the, <laughs> That's the how they prize. had to sell it, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And it had a really good, really good orchestral soundtrack. Like the music and like all the it had all the trimmings of like a hype game and the game is just not it's not good. Um, it's actually very funny to play because of how bad it is. It's almost as it's so bad it's good, but it just slogs on. Yeah, and it's just your basic over the shoulder shooter kind of thing. But man, I, I was like, I got this cool new game, and I showed my my friends in school. They're like, this isn't good. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. But you didn't discover it. Your friends told you this is bad, and then you were right, like, "Oh right. shit! What am I doing with my life?" I need to. Mm -hmm. I need to be more critical of my purchases. I had a, a rental that was disgusting. It was a Super FX game. I don't remember the name of it. It was some mech game, and it was around the time of Star Fox, obviously. And it was so janky and not fun, and the objectives were so unclear that I actually returned the game. Like, I almost never returned a rental, but that one I returned, it was, it was fucking awful. And I didn't know what to do, so... And, and I, don't, I don't remember the name of it, but it was just one of those, like... The graphics are cool because this is the next generation of graphics. Then he Bad. doesn't return his rentals? Is that the point of rentals? 
eventually you return them. I, I have a whole blockbuster shelf just stacked. <laughs> <laughs> it's waiting for them to reopen. I bought games from my blockbuster when it went out of business. So it was time? you. It was me. <laughs> how, how do you feel for? Oh, on, how does he feel to be single-handedly responsible for the collapse of a company? I love it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> we here at Vineco absolutely approve. Of the collapse of Blockbuster Media. My you name is Vibe, right, and I approve this message. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get an email from Blockbuster and their people, like, "Hey, we're coming back, and we would we would uh, take kindly to you not s just slandering our name." <laughs> I think oh, they, they've one guy that still works. The there is one Blockbuster the left. Time. There is genuinely one Blockbuster left somewhere in the United States. It's just some. Like novelty blockbuster and then like so, i was at target the other day and they have a blockbuster party game so they're carrying the brand on like you can buy it like and have drinks and play blockbuster the game i don't know did you they attempt a, a streaming service they so, did so what they're trying to do now is turning it into a streaming service powered by uh the blockchain some third party oh. group is trying to buy well, the rights to blockbuster and make it a a blockchain powered streaming service, which I don't know how that's gonna wow. work, because you know. You yeah, how, how even does that work? I think they just say that they're gonna run the blockchain just for the sake of a buzzword. You're, you're oh, renting the, of course the NFT, and then you put it back on the <laughs> NFT shelf. You sell it right. back to somebody else who, who <laughs> yeah. uses it. Yeah, I get it. They're trying to do that with libraries too, like books. So I that, have that's... the right to stream this movie. Here, you can buy the right from me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if Nari wants in real quick. He's, uh, he, he may showed interest. He showed interest. Okay, I might head off because I need to eat. I want to go eat my torta, so I can pop nice. myself up. Yeah. Okay, Jackal, it was <laughs> I would fun. Stay, but I'm just hungry. Yeah. yeah. You, you got this game just today too, right? Yeah, I did. Well, you, you know what? You did well. And if you want to play again sometime, you'll do even better. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good one, Jack. I'll see you guys later. See you, Jack. Okay. Take care. See ya. See ya. I'm only going to play a little bit more anyway. I figure maybe we can go through some of the new levels again. And, uh, and then we can uh, wrap it up. Because it's cool. It's still Mario Kart 8. Um, it is. They're, they're, it's nice. But at the same time... You know, the levels so far, I think, are mostly either mediocre or good. There's, there's not any one that, like, blew me away. They're, they're just, they're fine. They're nice. <laughs> That's how I feel about yeah. it so far. Yeah, I've kind of... It's okay. It, I guess maybe the original DLC maps from the Wii U days felt more iconic as soon as they launched. They looked uh, better, too. They, Yeah. It just, something feels like it's... Something feels like it's missing from some of these maps like it feels they feel a little lifeless and hollow they feel oh, short too like they're extremely extremely short yeah most of them the maps made for tor are intentionally short because of how tor works i don't know if you've ever actually played tor but don't it is think i did it's pay, it's weird mobile pay to win garbage um yeah but it's based around score attack more than anything and it's based around very short matches. So a lot of the tour maps are super, super short. Well, that explains a little bit. <laughs> also, yeah, hi, then, Nary. This is Nary, everybody. Hi. Hello. Yeah, and Coconut Mall, they took away the life of um, Coconut Mall by making the cars not move. Yeah, I've yeah, heard some, yeah, uh, yeah. And there are no Mies. Like, not even, like, models. They didn't didn't even bother no. with that. I think that Nintendo's trying to move away from Miis. They've been trying to move away from Miis for a bit, but it's not succeeding. They're, no. they, they, they keep trying to move away and then they come back. They shouldn't have made People that. People really it's like Miis. Gotcha game, then. Um, Jack yeah, was heard... insane editing. Yeah. I was thinking about that recently. Tombadashi Life actually was one of the best-selling 3DS games in the end. Wait, and was it really? really? 
Yeah, and it begs the question, like, what now? Like, the Tamadachi Adventure Game, what was that called? Metopia. Metopia. Because that came to Switch and then, like, totally rehauled the uh, editing software. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it was pretty cool. You know, Reggie was talking about, you know, how Facebook and friends aren't the ones to be starting the metaverse. It's game companies. So maybe they're working on the metaverse. Like uh, you know, yeah, uh, do you music. like that? Look, I'm <laughs> looking at I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at jobs right now, and every <laughs> one in three development job I click that is related to game dev has that word attached to it. Uh, you like crypto? You like meta? You like NFT? Uh, we just ask for an extra hundred thousand whenever. Well, Dave, one of the ones yesterday that I saw was offering 180 to 200k for a gameplay engineer with five years of experience if you knew uh, crypto. Mamma mia. Wow. Five yeah. years of crypto experience. That's spicy. Are, are you in, by the way, Nari? Uh, yeah, I'm sitting in the lobby. Okay. Jackal's still here. Well, it'll boot her anyway, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my um, one of my old merch companies that I, I no longer work with, like from back in the day, um, they sent like a mass email out like saying, hey, everybody, we're uh, rebranding and we are getting ourselves into the new millennium or you know we're, we're, we're doing it right, we're, right. we're, we're joining the we're, do, we're doing it we're entering the future and i'm like oh what, what are they doing and it says nfts i'm like oh come on I'm like what oh, did i need this email it's like they're selling that as well as real merch that's what they're doing for people so i'm like i've been seeing and it's like at least three or four different emails i've gotten from like places saying they're doing that and i'm just like all right just need to be a thing. I've been seeing people's like, like social media accounts are just getting hacked for the sole purpose of shilling like NFT scams. Oh, like there's a, there's a, like a Florida governor candidate got hacked recently and something like that. So there is a person who actively tracks um, verified Twitter accounts that get hacked and their username changed to some variation of fake Elon Musk. Uh, oh yeah. Solely to promote crypto scams. So. It is a very big thing. Oh boy. <laughs> I also have been getting um, texts from old friends that I haven't spoken to in like a decade that are like, Hey man. Oh no. You <laughs> hey oh. man, are you into the blockchain? I'm like, I gotta be honest, I, I, I kind of know what it is. What's up? And they're like, you want to promote some stuff? We can make some money together. Oh no. I had that happen at least a couple times, yeah. Is that worse or better than like Amway or whatever? Like, yeah. like someone t telling you to like sell like Sensi or like uh, any of those MLM things or whatever? Yeah, right. Like uh, uh, acai berries and I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. At least you're getting I'd argue a product. Worst because yeah, you don't even get a product here. Here's the thing though. I get it. Times are tough. I don't want this to necessarily turn into like us bashing NFTs for brownie points sure. on the internet. I because, do. All right, <laughs> fine. I'm down for that too. But um, I get that times are tough and money is hard to come by and there are people that, you know, are just trying to... There are people who are just trying to make a, a money so they can, like, make a living because it sucks right now for a lot of people. But a lot yeah. of the people that are promoting this stuff and really driving it home are, like, fucking, you know, really wealthy. Yeah. Sometimes it's literally built into their contract that they're just you. You are part of us. We are going to promote you in various ways, and they're pretty much forced to just do it. Oh, I see. Um, so I mean, contracts with media agencies suck. Yeah. And we're gonna slap your face on projects and make you money. Okay. And then the person says whatever. I mean, who was it? Someone went on Kimmel and said, "I bought a board." No, Kimmel bought a bought an NFT solely because someone else had one. I don't Wasn't remember Paris Hilton was. on Fallon? She got like yeah. Oh, it might have been Fallon, I'm thinking. And, and yeah, she was, was like, yeah. he was like, yeah, check out my ape. I love it. And she's like, it's yes. hot. I was like... <laughs> 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 like then I vomited out of my SNES. But yeah. again, the art is so... It, the reason there's a, such a disconnect for me and why it's so funny, I, you know, I don't fully understand it 150%, but what I will say is the disconnect is people are saying, look at these beautiful things that I got. Look at Jimmy Fallon's like, look at my ape, isn't he cool? He's awesome. And it's hideous. 
It's like randomly like generated shit. hideous art. It's um the lack of self-awareness about that stuff <laughs> is what makes me laugh about it. It's just hilarious. That's why it's like hey, son, I got you a Christmas present. What'd you get me, Dad? I got you an NFT, son. <laughs> I love that. I love the idea of someone stocking the someone's stuffer with like a USB full of NFTs. It's so Are you it's so 2022 for NFTs. Oh God, oh. that's a very expensive stocking. Uh, oh God, <laughs> you're not going to college. I got you. An, I got you an ape. Listen, you go, kiddo. There's no such thing as pensions anymore. Anymore. Uh, sorry, son. Here's here's an ape. That's not a DLC, man. Yeah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> that's okay. We've seen. Oh. We've done a lot of the DLC already. It's all good. Something I've only done once. I wouldn't mind seeing that Jap Japan level again. Oh yeah, let's do that next. Okay. I guess we could do like a one-way course. I haven't done one of these in a while. Yeah, this one, when we were practicing for the tournament, we went hard on this one because we all sucked at it. And then it didn't come up in the tournament once. <laughs> oh, this is one of the best maps in the game. Oh, it yeah, might have come up in the tournament. Mario Kart 8 forever. Well, it, chances are we will have this game forever. If Nintendo <laughs> keeps up yeah. the pace. Remember when industry insiders were guaranteeing that Mario Kart 9 was coming with a new gimmick? I remember that. It was a guarantee. A lot, right the alongside gimmick, the Switch Pro. Said this, <laughs> yeah. The new gimmick is that it's going to be the same game as last time. It's That's new. What a great gimmick. Yeah. Is, no, the new gimmick is that you can choose a randomly generated Donkey Kong. One has sunglasses, one has a cigar, one has a funny hat, and they're all of, uninterested and bored. You're kind of explaining how they made the other Kongs. Oh my I, god. I, 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 Donkey Kong is going to be uh, on the blockchain. Hold on. I know what the new gimmick is. I will send an image after this race. It's very blockchain cool. chomp? Oh god. <laughs> it's just a bunch of board chain chops. Oh my god! Don't I should stop talking. That's a horrific idea. Don't, don't give anyone ideas. Yeah. We do because someone's gonna steal that and then get sued by Nintendo. Yeah, that that could be fun too. <laughs> Getting sued by Nintendo. It's good fun. That's fun. I uh, <laughs> hell, man. I was in touch with a Nintendo lawyer. I've talked about this plenty. It was like. A human. I, I was so shocked that I was speaking to a human being. This is like going back seven years ago now, but. What hit me? There it is. There's a blue shell. I'm lucky though. I'm lucky I got a person and it wasn't just someone who was like, you know, like I have to do my job. You have to have. You have to appear in court because you did a corruption. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you fucked me please, good, please, Dave. Please, 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 please. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck me really good, Dave. Oh, oh. Fuck you, man. With love. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. Gear, that was actually me. Was that you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the all the hate in the wrong direction. I mean, I was throwing like stars everywhere, so I don't know who We're I am. We're doing the Tokyo Blur. Blur. Yeah, Tokyo Blur. The Oh. Or is it Ninja Hideaway? Which one is it? I was uh, talking about Ninja Hideaway, but we can do Ninja Tokyo. Hideaway. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> everyone balance it out. New map. I have the article. It says Mario Kart 9 in active development will feature a new twist. Anal. <laughs> 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 Let me put that on the screen. <laughs> 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 it's just double dash, but like with a, you know. <laughs> New twist this. butthole. Oh man. They're, they're double dashing somewhere. Mario Kart 69. Nice. Hang on. Oh man. Uh, Jolly got back to me because uh, I asked Jolly if he was down and he wasn't around, but he, uh, I don't think he's going to want to be like, yeah, I'll join for four more courses and then I'm out, but we'll see. Jolly, you right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Goodbye, yeah, Jolly's friend. Jolly's a good lad. I figured he would oh, be a good fit is, for this group. The song is banging. Holy crap! Yeah, I will say of everything that's come out of Tor, the music is. This is a solid. new. This is a new map entirely, though, Nari. I mean, your I point still stands. No, oh, this one they okay. made specifically for the DLC. It's actually WarioWare themed. We've discovered there's like garlic everywhere and stuff. Yes. That is the All right, because one of Tor's whole thing was it was real life locations. So they just went and said screw it and made the well, non Tor the, ones. This one is Ninji. Um, there was a Tokyo one. This one's the Ninji one. So it's like, you know, stylized. Off of uh, the I WarioWare see. Cat and Anna stuff, yeah. Off of Naruto. <laughs> Sorry, it's Narte. Narte. <laughs> I, I have to say it right, because when people hear me say Naruto, they have a conniption. I was pronouncing Naruto. Naruto, so it's I don't... Naruto. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you. Yes. We're gonna Naruto run into Area 51. God, that brings me back before the dark times. Mm -hmm. I, don't that. I don't like the start of the dark times, though. <laughs> you need to think yeah. about it. it. Was it that or was it Harambe? Oh no! no. Harambe it was depends. the start. How far do you want to trace things back? I mean, you can go back and back and back. <laughs> it just depends on how far you're willing to take it. There's always something. I was, was discussing no earlier, um, Gary getting banned from something awful leading to uh, pretty much a lot of modern internet culture because of Gary's mod. Oh, yeah. Also, wasn't it uh, a dude, a dude's uh, Diablo 2 class got nerfed. So he oh, made... Yeah. Oh, yes. That, that wasn't Diablo. That was World of Warcraft. Um, yeah. It was yeah. the controversial Warlock. Warlock nerf, and he made Ethereum. Yes. No shit. Yep. Yeah. Um, trust me, there. Are, some of this shit gets very intertwined um, in ways that even get political. Oh yeah. So. Well, that's that's probably a given. Yeah. <laughs> you were close, man. <laughs> this level is probably the best so far. Yeah. This is a great one. I do not know this level at all. I just, I found a route that I didn't know existed, just by going I am back. not last. I think base has won the most. Dave has won the most, no? I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I but, think that I mean, Dave has I'm, won a little bit more than me. I think base would be fine to take credit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you just gotta be a gamer. I am not, so... <laughs> um, I'm down for any any map. I, this will probably be my last one. Jolly is not going to join, by the way, because he is busy today. But okay. we'll probably end up doing something in the future. Um, I was going to say, yeah, any any map you guys want to do is cool, DLC or otherwise. Oh, did someone pick Babby Park? I sure did. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> Babby Park, whenever it's picked, it's just like chance time! Yeah. What the hell, Derry? <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry, that's my water? washing machine running, and oh. I currently have a very poorly tuned upward expander that makes everything super loud. Are you gonna go oh, catch like, it? Angrily banging your uh, I gotta worry there for uh, a second. Uh, I thought, like, a slasher like... movie was taking place in your home. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe France is real in Mario. It's now officially a part of real life. I can't yeah. believe the France only is real. The <laughs> New York and Italy were real. Uh, when was Italy in a Mario not? game? Well, Mario is Italian New York, correct? I, yeah, but he, yeah. So they say. <laughs> Little Italy. Depends on which canon we're talking about. Yeah, uh, I thought he jumped talk. into a pipe, and that's how he got into the Mushroom Kingdom. It's an alternate dimension. We're the Mario Brothers, and Plummins, the game, found a secret warp pipe. This, uh, something. Something. You're trying.
Yeah, so if New York City is real, then New Donk City is some bastardization of it. I it's mean, like the entire bizarro. plot of the first Mario movie was alternate universes. They should... I can't believe I just said the first Mario movie. Oh my god, <laughs> you're right! Too. Oh god! <laughs> Uh fuck. That's no, it'll happening. be good. The emoji movie is good. <laughs> yeah. So now the uh, well, that now wasn't the elimination. Which is doing. Right. Well, Not well, everything you know, elimination has made is bad. Uh, okay, well, um one of their movies was good. The Not one everything elimination has made is bad. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's technically correct. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, banana. I love having enough time to react to a banana and then still crashing right into it. Oh, I apologize. I just had to empty my inventory. <laughs> no, it's I enjoyed it's the good. high of first place for a moment. Yeah. And now I'm in ninth. Oh! Will this be it? No. Oh my god. Could this be Man. finger butthole? <laughs> I just went from Could ninth be. to fourth. I'll take it. Yeah, oh, I, I don't you. have the right. I don't have the right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious one of those. I don't know if it's a spoiler or not. It's just an NPC. But they were missing the right hand. And it was like... You don't oh, have the right? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't get to see that. There's a, there's a lot of uh, missing parts references in that game, that Elden Ring. Just... A lot of people missing parts. It was someone with too many extra ones. Yeah. Someone missing an eye. Someone missing an arm. 23 the, hand man. Took them all. There's a character who, who loses his uh, his insides and has to replace the insides with other insides. I'm not going to spoil it, but that's a good one. I know who you're talking about. Insides. So you could say he went hollow. Like Dark Souls. Oh my god. Dark Souls cart. <laughs> when? <laughs> I would love to play a Solaire in Mario Kart. Oh my gosh. That would be amazing. They already have the amiibo. Yeah. Make it happen. So uh, real quick before we... I, Nari, I know you just joined, but I'm also about ready to do my Sunday stuff. Um, so I appreciate you joining for a little bit, though. But I was going to ask if anyone here is actually going to kill Chaos. Like, did anyone I actually... To, maybe. But I they think... didn't denied my key request and I'm just kind of like it doesn't feel like a game I want to pay for. <laughs> I played the first two demos and it was fun but not full, not like 60 hours of fun. Is, or is that like God Hand hours. Final Fantasy or whatever? What game is that? It's Dark Souls Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. okay. It's closer to Neo, really. Okay. Played those uh, games. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I know Desert I saw the... got a key for it. I did too. Or like a request. It was like, hey, do you want a key? And then I was like, hmm, I'm very suspicious of this. And it's like, thanks Square, every 20 minutes. And I was like, I'm good. I never want to see this game again. Thanks. The thing is, it'll be fun with like three people. Because you can do co-op dungeons. But you have to and remember, each... it's not just every 20 minutes that stream. It's every... You have to mention every single stream from there on out for the following year that Square <laughs> sponsored you within the past year. Wow. But that's only if you've played a Square game, isn't it? Yes, any Square stream. Yeah. Any any stream that involves a game that has Square's name on it, which oh uh, is a lot of games if you think about it. Yeah, that's why it's like, don't even become tarnished or hollow, like in the first place. Just, just avoid, just stay away from Square because then you become the tarnished. <laughs> Not worth it. And that, and also, like, yeah, the game looks silly, but I'd only be playing it for the cutscenes. <laughs> I'll just Google them. They're really good. Yeah, I've heard. Excuse me, the Square video policy says you can't upload the cutscenes on their own? Yeah, yeah, and you can't finish the game if you're streaming it, right? Yep. You can't show the intro either. What the what? fuck? <laughs> it, well, they what license the even a lot at that they point. Like, Frank Sinatra music, and they can't sublicense it. And then they put out weird okay. guidelines. Just think about the this issue for a is minute. the guidelines rules. Think about what Nari just said. They licensed Frank Sinatra music for a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's "Fly Me to the Moon," which is used a lot in. It's my my way. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, my it's way. Uh, yeah, it's my way. "Fly Me to the Moon's Bayonetta. 
Yeah, yep. Bayonetta, right. make, it makes sense for Bayonetta because that takes place in like real, but like... So here's the question. Yeah. What are they going to license? What song are they going to license for Bayonetta 3? That's a good question. Uh, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. I literally was about to say that. Because <laughs> they've done... <laughs> These boots I mean, they are made Moon for River. walking. They did Moon River and they did Fly Me to the Moon. What are they going to do for Bayo 3? Something with Moon. Uh, the Moon is Right. I was going to say... Moon is I was Right. I was going to say... What's the song? It's like, you're my butterfly, sugar, baby. That's Hoobastank. W-A-P. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not, but they, they can they can license it. I just want to fly. That one. Yeah. Arms around me, baby. Or they can do, here I care, I care, I care, I care. That one. The, the, Lenny, the Lenny Kravitz song. Like no, that one's fly. Stone Temple Pilots. Like oh, fly oh, away. Yeah, yeah, do that one. No. There's a YouTuber that just did a video, the, the Kravitz Bowl, on what makes this song stink, and he tried to figure out which song was worse, that, or, um, what's the other Lenny Kravitz song? There's another, I swear he has more That's than one song. That's a good question, because I, I, I thought he only had one. <laughs> you said the Kravitz Bowl, and I'm just thinking it's like a, a weird sponsored dish you can get at Chipotle. <laughs> I, I try it. Bowl. I try it. That sounds great. All right, I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get going from the Mario Kart. I, here's my my uh, my thoughts on this: is the tracks are fine. I'm looking forward to the next ones. I feel like this is a a pretty mixed start, but not terrible by any means. Like so it was actually pretty good. Some of them were pretty good. So I'm hoping that the next ones though like get like crazy and good, like really good. You know, like I'm talking like F Zero good or Zelda level good, like Hyrule good. Mm. But we'll see. Got to wait. So, good luck. yeah, exactly. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, all right, everybody. Thank you for joining, and Liam, special Triforce guest. Thank you for joining as well. Special Triforce guest, indeed. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This was great. Yeah, and we'll, I'm sure we'll we'll collab again in some future DLC fest. Um, and the f the most famous of all, Wrinkly Newt. I'm sorry, people are gonna be looking you up now, so you might want to lock down your socials. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's happened the last few times we've collabed. Everyone thought I was Gear in. Um... Everyone thought I was Zot when we played Minecraft. I'm like, who is this guy? Is that Zot? I, I, that's his dude, name? I don't even know who you are. I just, I, <laughs> I, I, like you edit from you edit and you're you're cool and you play games and we we play Call of Duty. I know that. Yeah. Yes, you do. You're you're a pretty nice lad, and you made a good video for me, so I I know that much. But who are you really? I don't know. I don't. It all started. <laughs> well, as for everybody else, we had uh, Agent Red Jackal who left. We have Nary who just got here. Sorry, um, Johnny Full Sauce, Johnny Monkey. We had Great Zot, Giramatic, Base Clef, Dave Cap, and myself, Vine Sauce. I'm not gonna say it. I'm I'm Vinny. Yeah, I'm Vinny. And I drank ass juice. So, that's me. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye.